Well, it's not the best day to be working on things, especially with this super small shop, but um, today I'm going to cover uh, an e-brake adjustment on my wife's Acura TL. While it's starting to snow. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be adjusting the e-brake today. Um, that is just way, way too far up. Usually about six to eight clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Somewhere in there, six to eight, it should start catching. This one is not. So what we're going to do is pull the inspection panel off in here in, in the uh, armrest compartment. And also, we're going to pull both rear wheels off and adjust the uh, little gear back there that expands inside the hub, or expands the pads inside the hub. So, let's get in the garage and get started. Alright, so we're going to start by moving the little inspection panel inside the car. Um, I've got the armrest uh, storage compartment pulled up, um, and I'll just move the camera here real quick. And you'll see, you just need a... Um, an interior tool or a, a really small flat screwdriver that'll work just fine or if you don't have any of that just get a vacuum cleaner it should pull this little uh, piece up real quick so moving here this piece here just stick your screwdriver in lift up pull that pad out and right here is the inspection panel so we'll go ahead and get that removed and um, I'll show you the bolt or the nut rather that adjusts the handbrake here and then we'll move out to the wheels I don't know if the camera is picking it up but the nut we need to adjust is right there on that little extension that sits right between the two cables here and here. Those run out to the rear right and left wheels. Okay, before we start to get the uh, rear of the car jacked up, we need to break the lug nuts loose on the wheels. That just makes removing a lot easier since I don't have an impact gun. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then um, whenever we go to jack it up, we will be putting the jack right here on this tow hook which is in the center of the rear obvious for safety chalk both your front wheels and also make sure you use your jack stands okay before we start any adjustment what we're going to do is take the brake lever here pull it up to the first click and we'll start our adjustment. Okay, so we've got the rear wheel off. What you wanna do is uh, locate this little rubber grommet here, this little inspection port, um, and go ahead and pop it off with a flat tip screwdriver. Uh, make sure not to press it into the hole, otherwise you're gonna to have to remove the disc and that just makes the job that much longer. Flip it out here, get a hold of it with a pair of little pliers so they don't push it in. Press. There we go, prom it out. <clears throat> All right, now what you wanna do is turn this disc down like this to where the hole is facing the ground and um, we'll be able to adjust it from there. Okay, you can just see it right there, that little gear looking mechanism. What you're gonna do what you're going to do is take your flat tip screwdriver and you're going to insert it in there and you're going to rotate that gear towards the other wheel or up. Okay? And then you're going to do that until you cannot physically move the disc with your hands and then you're going to back it off eight turns. Alright. Now you don't have to turn it too much. Um, that probably rotated it maybe five or six pushes. You'll notice you can't move the disc. 
Now we're gonna take and uh, press the gears down towards the ground, okay? And we're gonna rotate it off eight clicks. All right, once you get your eight turns done, you should be able to rotate the disc. You'll feel just a little bit of drag, but not too much, and that's where you wanna be at. All right, watch, we got this side finished up. Um, we're gonna scoot over to the left side, get that one done, and then we'll move into the cab and start that adjustment. All right, once you're finished with the small adjustments on the gear, uh, go ahead and put your wheels back on, snug down the lug nuts, and move to the cab. All right, now that the uh, wheels are back on, see they're both free spinning. You can give them a pull. There's the driver's side. Here's the passenger side. All right, now that we're back inside the cab, um, we're gonna take our 12 mil socket down here. We're gonna put it on the nut, and we're gonna only do one, maybe two turns at a time, but I'm gonna start with one. So we'll take one turn. And then we're going to go out to the wheels and we're going to push them like that. All right, so there's no drag on that one yet. Nor is there drag on that one. So what you want to do is do your one turn, come out, check your wheels. As soon as you start to feel drag, that's it. You want to stop right there. And that should be the end of the adjustment. All right, that's gonna wrap this job up. Um, between going from the nut to the wheel, back to the nut to the wheel, I didn't film everything, but um, basically, whenever you start to hear the drag and feel the drag on the wheel, you know that that's where you need to stop. You don't want to over tighten it. That's not that's not good. So you'll notice here, six clicks, and this thing is super tight. One two, three, four, lots of tension, five, six. It's done. Completely adjusted at this point, no need to do anything else. Um, so that's gonna be it. Uh, wraps up the adjustment on a 2005 Acura TL emergency brake. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. If you're returning to the channel, super appreciate you guys' support. Um, I hope you guys have had a stellar start to the new year. And um, if you're not subscribed, remember to do that. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.